the lights just came out. Okay, okay. We're gonna go to the carousel, because it's been a while, and it's a short wait. But we're gonna try to get Cinderella's horse, and we'll show you which one it is, because we didn't get it last time. I don't know what's wrong with their eyeballs. We went like one and a half loops around it and we couldn't find it. We did it, we did it. We got on right over here. We couldn't find it yet. We'll show it to you at the end if we can find it. The time to ride one of Cla Walt's classics. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> find it we know oh they're like playing with the lights we promise we'll show you the horse one day you can tell by the tail of the horse that it's Cinderella's horse it has a gold ribbon wrapped around it oh no the fast pass line for Peter Pan's long it'll go back I'm nervous because we wanted to get a good spot for the fireworks but it's not every day you find a fast pass for Peter Pan three hours before you're supposed to use it so I nabbed it when I was at the office Back in Disney World, where it got an awesome spot for the fireworks. We got fast passes for this weekend. We got plans in different parks this weekend. It and feels so good. Celebration. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow evening. Maybe not tomorrow. Saturday. I think it's Friday already, but tomorrow's Friday. I have, we both have another day of work. bit of Magic Kingdom night in Art of Disney and letting the crowds go out and I have to show you this Jim Shore. Is it Jim Shore? Oh, it's not Jim Shore, but it is like oh, Couture de Force figurine. It's like the coolest Jack Skellington figurine I've ever seen. And Sally. Sally's pretty good, but look at this Jack. That sniffs me, but it's not as cool as 
this jack. Ooh, just a couple of 80 bucks. Pirates of the Caribbean. You could. Like, look at this artwork. This dude is taking a nap. These little sneaks trying to get this here key. And this guy just playing some games. Oh, it's the 50th anniversary. All the resorts have like miniature chairs in this style. And they're always the cutest. Yeah. So we just wanted to sit and chat for a little bit before we went home about Happily Ever After, the, the fireworks. And if you've never seen them, I mean, it's hard because some people don't want to watch them until they're in the park. But you could just like read the lyrics. Just Google lyrics to Happily Ever After. And I mean, we, it's really important to us that the song, because of like the timing, about like chasing your dreams. It's and all about, you know, following your dreams. And that's what we were doing when we were moving down here. Yeah, and but something that struck us today was we were talking with Dom on the phone on the way in here. And we were like, he's like, what are you guys doing? We're like, going to Chikina. He's like, oh, you must be, you're just living the dream. And we're like, Peter's response, which I was, I was surprised like, by. I was like, well. What did I say? It's somebody's dream? It's some people's. It's our dream. It's not... Oh, uh, yeah, that's what know. I said. It's some people's dream. I said, it's yeah. our dream, but it's not everybody's dream. Right. And we just thought that, like, after watching the fireworks, how much that that show can resonate with anybody who's following their dreams and that you're in control of your own decisions to do whatever you want to do. Like, you could watch Happily After, go home from your Disney World vacation, and build motorcycles. Yeah, and like you get the same emotion from... Or start a restaurant. Or start a restaurant, exactly. And I don't know, I just think that that's something that we really took just from Or start today. a YouTube. Yeah, is that just do what you want to do and you can make it, make it happen and be your happiest you without being too cheesy. Oh, we're good at being cheesy. <laughs> All right. It is Thursday, February 1st. You've not seen me in this kind of attire in eight days, and that's eight, day too, eight days too many. The last time I ran was eight days ago on Wednesday. But that's okay. I needed breaks. I was doing super solid. But I have not run a single mile this week, and I was doing good with how, my, how like my weekly mileage was doing. But no better time to get back in the groove than right now. Look at this wild hair. Okay, it is, I'm gonna tell you, because we don't always tell you how late it is, but it is 1.35 in the morning. But I went on a good run. My knee kind of hurts. Don't know, I'll just keep an eye on that, but I ran five miles. First run in eight days, so I feel good. And I came back and I had to edit the podcast for Park Hopper Podcast from last week that Dom and I recorded, but we had technical difficulties being in Chicago and not having the same software. And then there was like we edited it, and then there was a computer crash. And um, sometimes you just I don't know what Sarah just said. She was half asleep. Um, so it went up late. So I was like, I adamant like today when I got up, like I got stuff done at work. What else did we do that I was really proud of? Like we went back to Magic Kingdom, got stuff done at work. Well, we ordered our groceries, we'll pick them up tomorrow from Walmart, but we do the online order, so we just have to go pick it up. Um, went on a run finally, and edited the podcast. So I was like, this morning I was like, if I can get those things done, I will feel super good and productive. So the podcast, it just went live. So when you were watching this, go check it out at uh, YouTube.com under the, the Fan 527. You can go to podbean.com or just look up on your, your Android or your Apple phone. Go to their podcast or music website and look up Park Hopper Podcast. But Sarah and Eve, my two girls in my life, have been uh, asleep for like 
probably two hours. So I'm gonna go pull Sarah off the couch and make sure they're all set for bed and we're gonna get some sleep. Thank you for following along with our adventures back at the Magic Kingdom today. And tomorrow, I think we're doing Disney Springs. And Tyler might meet up with us. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.